So as we're approaching the end of the year, I wanted to start getting my life back together and start thinking and implementing some goals I have for 2024 to prep myself for the new year. I'm also really trying to stay consistent with my health routine this month instead of previous years where I just become super lazy towards the end of the year. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and this gives you some motivation. I'm in my garage right now and I'm so freezing. It's so cold and foggy outside. I really just wanted to bundle up next to the fire this morning and enjoy the heat that was coming off of it because I am so cold and I am very tired this morning. And usually Monday mornings I'm a bit more vibrant, but this morning I am tired and I just felt like I was going in slow motion. But hey, we made it to the car. So that is a win for me. Once we're in the car, we have to drive to the gym. And once we're at the gym, we gotta work out. So it's like, it just happens. You know, we're just going through the motions today. But I really wanted to in this video, just kind of get my life back on track, back together for the new year. I'm gonna be doing a whole separate 2024 reset video, but this is just kind of like leading up to that because I wanna start now implementing the habits that I want to go into the new year with. So I wanna make sure I'm keeping up with everything and just kind of getting my life in order and still working out, staying on my routine and implementing new things so that's what this week's video is going to be but yeah i really had to push myself out of bed this morning i snoozed my alarm not gonna lie like three times and i actually said it earlier so i could snooze it more i kind of predicted i was gonna be like this honestly last night but it is just that time of year now where it's really really winter and it's cold and I'm really really thankful my car's in the garage so it's not like frosted but it's still freezing in my garage I can't even imagine outside right now oh my gosh but anyways I'm gonna drive to the gym let's get a good start to this Monday good start to this week even though it was a slow morning that won't define the rest of the day and the rest of the week okay let's go this room is once again a mess let's do a little quick montage of me cleaning this runners that i wear all the time like these are my go-to runners they're getting a little bit dirty actually they're pretty dirty now as you can see they're not like really nice and white anymore so joel said i can just throw these in the washing machine with a couple towels and just put it on a normal cycle and then it'll clean them and then obviously air dry so i'm gonna try it because i've been wanting to clean these runners for a while now and every time i wear them i'm like I gotta clean them. And these types of runners, like the material, it cleans up really, really well because it's kind of just like fabric. So that's why I think it'll work good in the washing machine. So I'm just gonna put them on, see if it cleans them, and I'll keep you guys updated when I take them out. Maybe I'll even spray them with Shout to make them extra white, but I hope it works. Let's go throw these little puppies in the wash, and then I'll do like a load of towels while I'm at it too. I 
start taking better care of my hair going into 2024. I've never really taken care of my scalp and my hair before. I've never made like an effort to do it. Going into the new year, that's just one of my goals. Rosemary is apparently it's the best natural hair growth and hair health remedy ever. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my rosemary water because I've done this before. I've just never been consistent with it. And every single time I say that I'm going to stay consistent with it, I don't. So we're actually going to stay consistent with it in 2024. I will show you guys how to make my little concoction. It's so easy to make. All you need is a little pot and then the rosemary. I just eyeball the ratio. Honestly, I don't follow a specific recipe. It smells so good and it kind of smells Christmassy. So that is how much I ended up putting in. And then I'm just gonna fill it with, I don't know, maybe a cup of water. And then you just transfer it to the stove, wait for it to boil, let it boil for like five minutes maybe, or 10 minutes, and then just turn the heat off and then let it soak in the water until it cools. And then that's it. And then you just have to strain it and put it in a spray bottle. That's the ratio of water I put because I want to make it really potent. So yeah, and you don't really need much for the week. You just need a bit to spray it on your roots. I'm just about to leave grocery shopping because I I want to make a couple of health things today to prep myself for going into this new year because everybody has been getting sick there's something going around and this is just like the season to get sick so i want to boost my immunity so later today i'm going to be making some ginger turmeric lemon orange shots this recipe that i found on tiktok and i want to keep consistent with it like throughout the new year just to keep our immune systems high and also all that health stuff is really good for like inflammation and stuff so i actually ordered these little shot glasses on Amazon that are coming in soon that I'm going to disperse the little shots in so I can have one each morning. So I'll show you guys that later when I make it, but I just needed to go grocery shopping and run a few errands today. So I'm going to take you guys along, but it's such a gloomy day today. Like it's pouring rain, which I don't mind. It's kind of cozy, but on these types of days, I kind of have to force myself to get ready and going into the new year. It's like, it's so easy just to cuddle up in a ball in January and February and March because of the weather is mostly raining every single day but I got to be extra motivated with myself and persist. I'm just wearing a cozy sweatsuit today. I just want it to be comfy. So it's like a medium between the two since I felt like being lazy today since it's raining, I put on a sweatsuit, so that's the vibe. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain right now, but it is pouring. But anyways, I'm going to hop in the grocery store now. I think I'm gonna buy like ingredients for the shots that i was telling you guys about so i need ginger turmeric canned pepper and stuff like that lemon orange and then i also always constantly have an ongoing grocery list that i add to and it's on my notes app but i basically just have a bunch of stuff that i check and uncheck every week on what i need so it makes it easier i need avocados yams so let's go in it's kind of cozy grocery shopping on a rainy day like this i don't mind it and it hasn't rained in a while here which is actually weird we had a really dry november which usually it's raining like every day but i think the weather's trying to catch up on the rain but i want snow i really want snow i I'm like praying for a white Christmas because we got it last year and the year before we got a little bit of snow that lasted through Christmas and it was so nice and it just like makes things feel that much Christmassy. So I hope we get a white Christmas, but we'll see. That's not really in my control unless we manifest it as a collective, but anyways, okay, let's go shopping. I just unpacked all the groceries and here is a little mini haul. I feel like I got so much today, but I got some dairy-free chocolate chips. These are my go-to. They're so good. And then I just got two bags of popcorn seeds for Joel because he likes to make popcorn every night. And I just got some rice noodles for the soup I'm going to make. I got lots of ginger for the health shots and then I got some turmeric as well. I got some eggnog for Joel. I can't drink this because I'm not doing dairy, but I will have a little taste. Joel likes his eggnog once a year. So that is for him. I got some eggs and then I also just got some chicken thighs Then I just got some potatoes some zevia and some chicken broth And I ended up trying this new brand of honey out because we've been out for a while now And I usually get local honey, but I didn't want to go to the beach center today because it was pouring rain So I just got this one for now. We'll see how it is, but it looks really good and it's from a soy So it's still kind of local, I guess. Yeah, then I got some rosemary because i'm gonna make a hair remedy water with it Avocados lime oranges and I just got two apples 
because I've been randomly craving apples and peanut butter. And I got some parsley, some garlic powder because I've just been running out, and then just some yams because I like to have these as a bowl in the morning. And yeah, I'm gonna kind of clean out the fridge a little bit, organize this, and put everything away. I have to turn my lights on in my house because it is so dark today. I'm getting no natural light in this house right now. It is like pouring rain and it's so just like clouded over. And we got like only one hour of brightness and then it's just completely dark. It's only two o'clock too, which is crazy, but I hope you guys don't mind the lighting, but I had to turn these lights on just to make it look better, but it's not night. It's literally the daytime right now. Let's clean out the fridge because if I don't keep up with cleaning out the fridge, I will go in there and all of a sudden there'll be like an icky, gnarly smell and it'll be something molded. Keeping the fridge clean just really helps me mentally because if I open the fridge and it smells, I just hate it. I, I don't even want to go in the fridge because it's just so disgusting. Especially like after grocery shopping, I don't want to put my fresh new groceries in a dirty fridge. And it's the same thing for clothes. When I buy new clothes and when I have like a clothing haul, I don't like to put my clothes away if my drawers are messy or if my room is messy. I need to clean and then put the new clothes away. I don't know. It's just like a mental thing, I guess. I mean, if you guys work that way too, but anyways, let's clean out the fridge and put the groceries away. So I thought we can do a little eggnog taste test together. I'm just gonna have a bit to try it. I also really like how this one came in a glass jar because I can reuse it when I make my homemade milk. It's always nice having extra glass jars and this one's like a really nice big one. <clears throat> Why is my throat crackling? Let's try it. Oh my God, it's so thick. That is so thick, so overbearing. I'm not a huge fan of eggnog. I like a good eggnog latte, but I would never just drink it like this. But Joel just eats this up, like he loves it. Delivering the eggnog. Here in this cabinet, it's kind of got a little bit messy. So I want to clean it up, get it a little bit rearranged and clean it out because I haven't done this in a while because I still have some like pantry groceries to put away. This is like what we use as our pantry. So I'm going to organize it a bit and just make it look nicer and more pleasant because things are just kind of thrown in here right now. Just finished organizing it. It looks so much better. Now I actually know where everything is and everything is nice and organized and put away nicely. And it just, it just makes so much of a difference. So I have my laptop here and I'm going to catch up on stuff that I need to do that I've been procrastinating for a long time now because uh, guess what time it is soon? Tax season. And that makes me want to no, I just I don't even want to hear the t-word anymore. I don't want to see it I just want to get it done. I'm not actually gonna do them But like I need to sort through so many things that I've been putting off I have to get it done sooner or later and I'd rather get it done and have a clean slate going into the new year without Having to do any of this like I know I'm actually gonna have to file them in like next year But I'd rather have everything organized going into the new year because I don't want to carry that burden on my shoulders Because I just I hate it. You just got to bite the bullet on these types of things I'm not gonna make myself do it all today Obviously because that's a lot but if I do a little bit every day like an hour every single day Like I'm just gonna set a timer for an hour and as long as I do it for an hour every single day It's gonna get done by the end of the year. I just have to think of it that way when you have these super big dots tasks hovering over your head you don't have to do it all at once just try to time block and be like okay we're gonna take this into baby steps so it's a lot less daunting you're gonna be more likely to actually do it sooner so like an hour each day keeps the stress away you know that's like rule number one for getting big tasks accomplished is to break them up and just do a little bit each day if you guys have any daunting tasks that you want to get done before the end of the year i would recommend doing a little bit every day because there's we all have we all have that thing that we procrastinate. I am a professional procrastinator. If there's no deadline in the near future, it's not getting done. Like I am just that way. I've always been that way. Unless it's something super exciting, I'll do it. But if it's something I don't want to do and it's very daunting to me, I'm going to procrastinate it until I need to get it done, which is so bad. But that's just like how I've been since high school because I hated 
school and that's what i would do in school so if there's something that you're that you've been procrastinating just do it just go in your calendar and even if it's like 20 minutes a day to work on it and give yourself a reward afterwards for doing it so that you almost like look forward to it because then it's more incentivizing but yeah this is your sign to do those tasks that you've been procrastinating now so that you can enter january with a clean slate for 2024 okay anyways let's do this Part of getting my life back together and staying motivated staying disciplined for 2024 is working out and what better motivation to work out than getting new workout clothes i have a halara haul to show you guys they have the best high quality and affordable workout clothes ever new workout clothes equals being motivated to live a healthy lifestyle like i'm not kidding it makes that much of an effect for me i actually have a discount code that you guys can use with them which i will put up on the screen right here and everything that i try on in this haul will be linked in the description box as well as my coupon code so the first thing i got from them are their high-waisted crossover flare yoga leggings the waistband how it's crossed like this is so flattering the material is so stretchy and almost like a second skin i can wear these all day without feeling the urge or need to take them off they're that comfortable the next thing that i got from them first of all look at how cute this pink is is their everyday cloud full fabric backless two-in-one flare workout dress i really really love how how this has shorts underneath and this would be such a cute pilates dress the material on this is so butter soft one of their goals as a company is to deliver top-notch quality for an affordable price which you can really see in their clothes the next pair of leggings that i got from them are the cloudful fabric 3.0 crossover pocket plain legging this cloudful material is so amazing so comfortable i can wear it all day so soft these are such high quality good everyday leggings their leggings range from a size extra small to 3x and they also have such a variety of colors to choose from these next leggings are their padded off 2.0 pet hair resistant high-waisted crossover side pocket yoga leggings they are pet hair resistant again this material is just so soft breathable comfortable and i got a few workout tops from them i've been obsessed with long sleeve workout tops first top that i got from them is this cloudful fabric long sleeve thumb hole two-in-one yoga sports top and i love how it has a little thumb holes i love the design on this but i actually got this in black and i also got it in white because it was just i couldn't resist it's so cute and this top also has built-in pads which is amazing the material on these are so butter soft it's so comfortable to wear the next workout top that i got is in this adorable cream color it's their cloudful fabric halter thumb hole long sleeve cropped two-in-one yoga sports top just such a cute design these tops are just so stretchy breathable and so comfortable to wear the last top that i got from them is this long sleeve backless cutout tie back cropped bare ballet dance sports top and i love the cutout in the back it's so cute the material on this is so breathable and still so soft i also got this white dress it is called their backless cutout twisted side pocket two-in-one mini bar ballet dance dress and this one has shorts as well underneath which is great this just makes me feel like a cute little pull Pilates princess so comfortable and it's not see-through at all even though it's white and it's so soft if you guys want to check out the pieces that i got or you want to shop something different and check out what they have you could click the links in my description box also don't forget to use my code i'm so excited to wear all my cute workout clothes quality is everything to me and their materials are just so buttery i actually get excited to work out here is my rosemary water it looks like pee when you haven't drank in enough water <laughs> this is the amount that i made and then i have this little tiny spray bottle which i'm going to put it in you can use a bigger spray bottle but this honestly is perfect for me and then the rest i'm gonna freeze it i don't have any ice cube trays right now but i'm gonna try to buy some today or tomorrow so that i can freeze the rest just so it doesn't go to waste it only lasts about two weeks in the fridge or a week i forget but you should probably search it up because i know it goes bad so i'm gonna transfer to this bottle and then i can spray it on my hair nightly and it's super easy Oh, that is how not to transfer it to the bottle. <laughs>
Hey guys, good morning. It is currently, what time is it? 6.40, I'm such in a rush right now because I was supposed to leave like 10 minutes ago, but I gotta talk to you guys before I go. So I have a power core class today. I'm so excited because I love my power core class at Oxygen Yoga and Fitness. I was just rushing because I snoozed my alarm three times and I was just in a really deep sleep when I woke up. And so whenever I wake up in a really deep sleep, it's just not good. But the thing is, is like I went to bed at 8.50 last night. So I got well over eight hours of sleep, but I still couldn't wake myself up like i was just in a deep 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 sleep which is good because i know i was getting a good sleep but it just sucks in the morning because you feel so groggy and yeah anyways okay let's go do our workout that I want to do a little bit more and just like overall going into the new year I want to just be more tidy because I will open packages I will open boxes and I will just leave the boxes there and not take action and put them away right away so that's like one of the goals I have going into the, to the new year and what I want to start implementing now not just waiting till the end of the week to do a huge clean and that'll also just make it a lot easier for myself because I'm not like a messy person I just sometimes I'm not tidy but I do like my space to be clean so I don't even know but right now our bathroom is just kind of a mess I have these drunk elephant boxes still sitting here that I opened like two weeks ago that I haven't brought downstairs to put in the recycling yet as you can see we have two not one but two paper towel not paper towel toilet paper rolls that need to go in the recycling as well that we've just left on the windowsill here stuff like that that it's like if I just start putting things away right away even maybe tidying 10 minutes a day it can really compound and by the end of the week I won't have anything to clean up because I'll be doing it as I go which is like the best rule for everything is do as you go I always love to like I said procrastinate leave things you know sit there and then do it all at once but it's like if you just do things as you go and actually be organized in that sense it makes it a thousand times easier and less stressful because you're just getting it done a little bit every day keeps the doctor away but it's so true but anyway so i'm going to clean the bathroom right now and then we're going to go downstairs and make the ginger shots finally okay let's get cleaning <laughs> bathroom feels so much more clean i took out the boxes there cleaned the toilet cleaned the counter space did Joel's side as well and then i also cleaned and kind of organized underneath here because it was just getting to be a mess so i have face products and random stuff in there and then hair products in the left one and then just some skincare on the side i also just kind of cleaned up this drawer and also just restocked my flossers and my cotton pads and organize this whole drawer since it gets messy so fast because i'm always using this drawer and things are just going everywhere so i'm glad that this is restocked and organized and clean and yeah it just like smells super fresh and nice in here again clean bathroom is such a good feeling fabfit fun sent me their advent calendar i already opened day one but i'm gonna open day two with you guys they sent me this coupon so you guys can use this promo code if you want to order your first box it's only 12 days of christmas but look at how huge it is so let's open day two together if you guys want to see what was in day one go watch my night routine tiktok i have been posting so many tiktoks lately so go follow me on there i swear i suck at opening this 
Ooh, eye masks. That is so nice. Grace and Stella, it's like an energy drink for your eyes. Anti-wrinkle and energizing eye mask. I love it. So off Amazon, I got little tiny glass shot bottles. I'll show you guys in a minute, but they're for the ginger shots that I'm gonna make. And this package actually got delivered to the wrong house. I don't know how Amazon messed up, but I noticed it the other night. It said it got delivered. And then I looked at my front door and it wasn't there. So I was like, um, let me look at the photo. Cause you know how Amazon takes like a photo when they deliver something. So I look at the photo and I'm like, that's not my front door. <laughs> so I'm like, mm. so I go on Amazon and I put a claim that I didn't get it. And then they were like, oh, you have to wait 48 hours to do this. And then the next day, the people that I went to, I have no idea where this went, but they actually delivered it to our door, which was so nice. And I didn't even get to say thank you because they just dropped it off. But that's so nice of them because they could have easily kept it for themselves. Not that it's really anything valuable, but still like they could have kept it. Karma's real. So let me unbox it and I'll show you. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So they're glass and they have a little lid and they're for every single morning, I'm gonna stack these in the fridge. And I think there's 12 bottles. So it'll last us for me and Joel a week. And every single morning we can take our immunity shot and it's perfect. And they're gonna look so nice stacked up, lined up in the fridge. So I will have these linked down below if you guys wanna copy my little idea. They're like little tiny jars. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. But what I'm gonna do right now is go through and wash them all so that I can use them tonight because it's just, I don't know, I feel like standard practice to wash new dishware before using them. So I'm gonna wash them all and then let them dry and then we can make our ginger shots and stack them in the fridge for the rest of the week. This is something that I'm really gonna try to keep up with. I'm excited. <laughs> We are now going to make the ginger turmeric lemon shots. I honestly am gonna freestyle this recipe, so I'll show you guys what I do. I'm actually gonna put them in a blender and then strain it, just cause I feel like I'll get the most out of it that way instead of using my juicer. I'm gonna do like this much ginger for turmeric. I'm gonna do like this much. For the oranges, I think I'm just gonna peel them and put them in kind of whole. I'm gonna strain it anyways, so it doesn't really matter. It's like the old fashioned way of peeling an orange. I'm just gonna take the seeds out and I'm gonna do one more orange. So now I have a bunch of lemons here. I'm just gonna squeeze them all because they're kind of getting old. So I wanna use them up. I have my lemon squeezer and I'm gonna do them all. I just did five little lemons. They were really small. That is it. Now I'm just gonna get the water. I'm just gonna fill it up with water so it can blend. And that should be pretty good. This looks like such a weird mixture. Okay, let's throw her on and I'm gonna blend it on high for, I don't, I'm not sure, just as long as it looks good. Nice and blended. So now I have a strainer in a bowl and I'm gonna pour the mixture in here. Just gonna help it along you definitely don't want yourself some clumpy shots so <laughs> Okay, so this is all the pulp that I'm left with. This is going in the compost, unless you guys have any recipes you would wanna make with it, but pretty much it, I did get so much juice out of it actually, and it did a really good job. I'm just trying to get like as much as I can, but I think this is basically it. So this is the final mixture, and you actually apparently have to add pepper in order to activate the turmeric. So I'm gonna add some pepper into it, as weird as it sounds. Apparently it's really beneficial. So I'm gonna crack a bit in here. And I'm also going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper as well. Apparently that you're supposed to do that. And then for the last step, I'm going to add in some honey because honey is actually so good for you. It's very anti-inflammatory and it also adds sweetness to the shots so we're not dying. Hopefully this helps with the taste of it because I know it's going to be so spicy. I'm going to do my raw reaction with you guys. I'm going to taste a bit to see if it needs some more honey because I'm scared. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna take a little spoonful. I'm actually scared. Oh god. Oh, yeah, that really burns. Like I literally just took a tiny bit. 
It's really good though. It's good. Like the oranges in there really add the sweetness and the honey. It's not bad at all. I'm also used to kind of taking immunity shots so because I've done this before. It'll burn, but you just know it's cleansing your body. So, I mean, it's worth it. So, since it's good, I'm going to take this mixture and then disperse it into the bottles. I don't know how I'm going to do that because I don't have the pour thing. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll have to figure it out. So, I filled some of the batch in this little mini kettle thing that I have because it'll make it easier to pour because it has a spout. So, it's the only thing that I can find. So, let's start filling them. They're so cute. Shots are all done. I did all 12 because I actually had enough and there's just like still a tiny bit left. But I basically made a perfect amount, which is crazy because I completely just eyeballed it and I had no idea. But I'm going to be now taking one every single morning and making a new batch every week. And I really want to stay consistent with it. And it kind of just looks like orange juice in here, which is funny, but it's so spicy, but it's so good. And I think it's said that you're supposed to have them on empty, an empty stomach in the morning. So I'm probably just going to have one every morning after I drink my bone broth would be probably the perfect time. So satisfying. I'm going to put these in the fridge nice and organized and I can't wait. Just something to add to my daily health routine. And it's easy enough because I only have to do it once a week. So I just got my package off of Amazon. I got some hair care because you guys know that one of my goals going into the new year is to implement the new self care habit of taking just better care of my scalp. So from Amazon, I ordered this guy organic castor oil and it supports strong, fuller looking hair, lashes and brows i've always heard that castor oil is really really good for hair growth i've actually used it in the past before but never really on my scalp i've used it on like my eyelashes but castor oil just has a lot of really good benefits so i will have this one linked down below it just seems like really good quality and then i got the plant of life um 100 pure and natural essential rosemary oil this stuff i already can tell is such good quality i can smell it from in the package and also when it was in like the bigger box i can smell it through the box like it's so potent and i know it's such good quality so i'll have this link down below as well but what i'm gonna do right now is a little concoction because you can't just use rosemary oil directly on your scalp that can be very very harmful because it's so strong so you want to mix it with a carrier oil it doesn't have to be cast castor oil you can use probably a lot of other oils but i just chose castor oil because it is good for hair growth as well so what i'm going to do is i have an old bottle from the ordinary this is their multi peptide serum for hair density and i'm already out of it so i'm going to make my concoction in this bottle so that i can have it stored away so that i don't need to keep like remaking it every single time so i'm going to make this concoction and then do put it in my scalp and then i'm going to leave it in overnight and shower it off after my workout tomorrow but let me see the ratio of rosemary oil to carrier oil five drops of rosemary oil with 10 milliliters of your carrier oil this bottle is 60 milliliters so i can do oh my god why can't i do math <laughs> so i can do 30 drops so let's make this little concoction So I'm going to take the castor oil and precisely fill her up in the bottle. It has a pour, so it's making it a lot easier. Actually, I'm going to make this easier for myself. Ooh, castor oil is so chunky. Okay, so I'm going to put 20 drops of the rosemary oil. One, two, okay. I did 26 drops. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and mix it. Mm -hmm. 